Yo, what's going on, you guys? Cam here, and I'm back in a video for you today. So, this time I'm going to be reacting to a death battle video. Okay, this one is called Omni Man vs. Bardock. Now, um, I'm sure a lot of you know what death battle is. It's this very popular channel that compares these fictional characters against each other, these video game characters, these, um, these made up, some of these made up characters, and also, of course, actual fictional characters. But, um, alright, Omni Man vs. Bardock. Um, who do I think who would actually win? Um, if we're talking about Bardock at his base, Bardock would definitely lose. And if we're talking about Super Saiyan form, um, I have seen Dragon Ball Z and I've seen Bardock basically all the way. And, um, and as far as I remember, he has not really mastered Super Saiyan 100%. And, um, and he also has limits on his Super Saiyan. With Goku, there is no limits on his Super Saiyan. Um, at the other hand, I think, um, I think Omni-Man will probably get this one? Mm, I don't know. I think, I think Omni-Man is a bit stronger, though. That's just my opinion. Because, well, I mean, Viltrumites are incredibly powerful. That's for sure. They're easily faster than light. Their endurance is... Their endurance needs to be freaking studied. Because I've seen in the show, and also, um... Also, I've seen the comics, too. That any time they get gutted or, like, literally impaled through the entire body, they literally freaking survive it. Like, literally. The only, um, spots that you can kill Viltrumites at are either their heart or just crushing their brain. Or damaging their brain. So, if you're not aiming for any of, any of those two spots... They're gonna survive basically everything. Oh man, this is gonna be a um, this is gonna be a pretty close fight, in my opinion. Okay, I'm rooting for Bardock, but I think Omni Man will probably get this one. So let's go right ahead into this death battle. Let's go ahead. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. Fortnite Omni Man? Oh my gosh. Is he doing the celebrate me dance? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm actually kinda excited for this one. They haven't posted in like a while. Hey, comment down below if you want me to do some more death battle reactions. Great. Another gross bug plant. Oh, he's in Thraxa. Oh! Whoa! Planet isn't anyone's to conquer. Don't underestimate me. Oh damn! Wait, is Devil Artemis animating this one? It's so familiar. Maybe he is doing it. Like my son, sticking his nose in places he's not ready for. My son would kick his ass. That is true, and it's not going to be close. All right, Nolan, dodging all of those key attacks. Ooh, damn! Come on, Bardock. Whatever you are, you're an embarrassment. Oh! Is it gonna turn into an ape? Oh damn, here we go. Am I supposed to be impressed? Sort of. Oh man. Oh, not the bandana. Oh, watch the hell out! Shit. 
You're just gonna let him hit you like that? Oh, blue sign. Wait a minute, no, this can't be it. No. My sons. Leave me. I won't let you take me from my world. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I got that reference. Damn. Your time is up. Saiyan! Who's voicing Nolan? Oh, uh, no. This can't be. Wait a minute. You said Saiyan. Remember it. What? Bardock! Fuck. Okay, at least he has some respect. KO! Okay, these For Bardock, at least. Stop picking fights with guys in capes. Pitting Saiyan against Viltrumite is fascinating. Among the many similarities, five specific categories stand out. Starting with speed. Bardock is much faster, given his power level matched Goku dodging asteroids at 9.5 trillion times light speed, much higher than the Viltrumite's fastest speed. Add on the 50 times multiplier from Super Saiyan, and it's a huge difference. Right, Bardock clearly has the speed advantage, but strength and durability are another story. Though it doesn't seem like it at first, Bardock scales to King Veggie, who wrecked three planets. He at once. right, he literally Man, waved his hands and destroyed like three planets. How big that one planet was, the numbers are actually pretty similar. Until we um, I think you guys are forgetting one thing. Um, even though they did need help from each other, it took three Viltrumites to destroy Viltrum. And as far as I remember, reading that um, reading that page, is that for them to actually to stabilize that planet, it must be unstable because if they would have went through the planet while it was stable, they would have died. So basically, and also I'll let to in introduce you to someone named Death Racer. His gun is basically an invincible cannon that can basically destroy anything. So he basically, they, all three of them needed help from that gun to destroy that planet. And didn't, and didn't Omni-Man get knocked the hell out by War Woman? And like, when Mark went back in time? Okay, I'm spoiling too much. But no, this is BS. I'm giving this to Bardock. A major plot point in Invincible involves the coalition of planets admitting that their weapons cannot hurt Viltrumites. So when their ship's cannon obliterated this gigantic solar disk, it highlighted just how tough the Viltrumites really are. This disk completely blocked the sunlight and heat between a planet and its star. And this is no ordinary planet. Its size and density are so high that its inhabitants are as strong as Viltrumites Ooh, the just due to living in its natural gravity. To fully block the light to such a planet and remain in consistent orbit, the disk would need to be positioned at its L1 point, the spot that creates an uninterrupted view between sun and satellite, and the disk itself must be about half the diameter of the star in question. This means the scaling of the disk puts it at three septillion tons. That's 24 zeros. Which makes Omnidam over 11,000 times stronger than base Bardock. Not even the great ape or super saiyan forms could make up that difference. So strength goes to Nolan. Still, numbers aren't everything. As far as versatility and right, goes, they're not everything. Had one distinct advantage that could win outright. Omni-Man survives in space for much longer, but Bardock barely squeaks out the edge here thanks to his ranged versatility with key attacks and, of course, Super Saiyan. Okay, let's address the Super Saiyan Bardock thing. It's perfectly fair to question whether or not the form should be in this comparison at all. However, even with the form included, Nolan still takes this, especially when it comes to our last two categories, experience and stamina. Yep, Omni-Man's been around a lot longer than Bardock, over 2,000 years, and even with Super Saiyan, Bardock's no master of the form. And without the that fact that they made the Bardock lose is kind of insulting. at an increased rate. Which brings us to what may be Omni-Man's most surprising advantage. Those weird smart atoms. Oh, uh, of course. Fight for days on the end, smart atoms. Only for so long. 
Bardock possesses a limited pool of ki, which only depletes faster when using super forms like the Great Ape. In contrast, Omni-Man's biology prevents him from tiring in most cases, letting him travel across whole galaxies for weeks non-stop, and his smart atoms adjust to counter whatever physical strain he's subjected to. Bardock's crazy speed and power yeah. made him a real challenge. So basically, if his smart atoms and also his built to my physiology, basically he just... Basically, his smart atoms pretty much adjust to make them stronger than in comparison. So, that's why Viltrumites are somewhat known to be invincible, I guess? And unshakable force that Actually, no. You put them in the sunlight, like they're gonna melt. Push came to shove. Omni -Man raised the bar, Doug. Oh, please. The winner is Omni -Man. Next time on Death Metal. Hmm? What's the next? A Joker? Subscribe and join as a member to see more death battles. Oh, Thanks okay. I know who Joker is, but I don't know the other person. Oh, wow. The fact that they really made freaking Bardock lose is kind of insulting. But, at the same time, if you really look at the um, both of the comics and also in Dragon Ball Z, everything that Bardock has done, and he should be just a tad bit up there with Omni-Man, right? I mean, as far as I remember in um, in the comics of Invincible, when Mark went back in time to face his dad again, like in that one scene that everyone basically knows, you know, when they both fought each other for the first time, and basically, he literally just ran, he ran from his dad this time, all the way out to the Guardians of the Globe, that way they can take him down as long as their own freaking son. Well, no one's own son. And so, of course... They fought each other again. And then at the end, War Woman basically knocked the hell out of freaking Omni-Man. So, basically all of that, were making Bardock lose. Anyways, great death battle for you today. And also, great video today. And, um, until next time, I will see you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Because, I am back.